Okay, uh, today I'm going to uh, replace my um, uh, 2021 Toyota Rap Ford um, washer uh, windshield washer pump. It stopped working for a week now, so I check everything else, check the fuser, check everything seems to be okay. So it narrowed down to be a uh, pump issue. So. Today I'm going to replace the pump um, <clears throat> motor and what I do I just wanted to open this tire cover here and I'm going to remove this um, bolt right here. I already removed um, the pin, the plastic pin out of this uh, place right here and I have something up there and one big pin is over here. I don't know if you can see it and the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove this bolt right here one down here and then one up here right here up here and then i will also move um, anything underneath of the hood the, any bolt underneath of the hood so let's stay tuned and see how i did it You don't have to remove the tire. You can just turn the tire sideways to give you room to work on it. Okay, uh, now I'm removing this one. You don't have to remove all the bolts under the bumper. I did it so I can have a better view of the windshield washer reservoir. That one. This one. the next one so we're here so let's do this There are two more down here, one over here and then one over here. So I'm gonna do this one too.
let's move to the next one. Another one down here. if I can see it. This is how it looks like. So um, I'm going to replace um, the front uh, wiper uh, washer pump first and see if that fixes it. If not, then I will have to do uh, uh, something else, check on something else. To try to remove this thing. I tried to remove the wire harness connector, but I couldn't. I will show you a better way to remove it. One, put a bucket under the washer reservoir to collect the washer fluid. Two, remove the washer spray pump from the washer reservoir. 3. Remove the wire harness connector. 4. Remove the two hoses out of the washer spray pump. out of this thing I can feel that this thing the motor here is very hot so there gotta be something wrong here remove it there we go this is how you remove the um, electric from here uh, remove from here too Remove the uh, this one here. I have to mark so I know which one's which.
okay. So I have to uh, mark which one is brew and which one is um, red. Okay, so it looks like brew is coming from here. So I have to mark this one as the brew one. There is a problem. The part bought from eBay wasn't the right one. Got the wrong part. I got the wrong part, so I had to buy a new one, a different one. And this is the part number. Okay, uh, I got the new part, so I'm going to install the new part uh, to it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, plug uh, this um, hose back on so the red one goes to the right and then the um, blue one the blue one is the blue one um, goes to the left so I gotta put back on like that just put it back on just slide in And then in, uh, connect the um, power to it. Okay. And now just insert this thing back into the tank. And that should do it. Okay. Make sure it's plugged in correctly. Now, it's time to fill the washer reservoir with the windshield washer fluid. Test it to see if it's working. Just pour about one half of washer fluid into the washer reservoir for testing. Okay, just test a little bit uh, first, and if uh, everything's working, then um, you can add the whole um, bottle of fruit, washer fruit, back in. Be sure to check for any leaks before testing the spray to see if it's working. Let's test the rear wiper to see if there is any spray. I have learned that both the front and rear spray use the same washer pump. Okay, as you can see, it is working now. So I fixed the problem. So yeah, it's kind of odd that uh, this 
new Toyota RAV4 is about three years old and the water uh, windshield washer pump went bad it's kind of odd and um, I don't know why what caused this kind of issue but uh, whatever the issue is I found the issue I fixed it so good to go okay so since I have everything's working now I'm going to put everything back on the way it's supposed to be so let's stay tuned how I did it okay so now it's time to put all the uh, pin back on see this one right here it's the one that I'm going to put it first so let's do that okay so got that one on that's the one I put on first and then I'm gonna put all the pins back on to this hose right here I filled the rest of the washer fluid back to the washer reservoir. I'm 
should be good to go. One thing to note is that when you buy part, do not take the chance to buy anything online before you check on your local dealer like a Toyota dealer first. I bought one from eBay and that didn't fit on my pump so I have to go to the Toyota dealer and bought the exact model of that one from Toyota and the cost is about $109 plus tax is about 117 it's good chance that you might buy the correct part cheaper on any online store but to me i bought one and it didn't fit so i end up spending 30 dollars for nothing i had to go to my local toyota dealer and bought the correct part from the store i got the correct part and everything was working as expected I'm all good to go.